Soy, from paint to plate. It's important to recognize that soy is a relatively new addition to livestock diets. Before soybeans became a common feed ingredient, soy oil was actually mainly valued for industrial uses, such as paint and varnish. Today, soy shows up in nearly every modern livestock ration. And not because it's the healthiest option for animals or humans, but because government subsidies made it cheap and abundant. Now, relying heavily on modern corn and soy comes with its consequences. First, the chemical load. Over 90% of US corn and soybeans are Roundup ready, meaning they're genetically modified to tolerate glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. This allows farmers to spray glyphosate directly on the crops without killing them. Then there is the PUFA problem, polyunsaturated fats. What animals eat directly shapes the fat they produce. Soy in particular is a high PUFA feed ingredient and feeding it to livestock raises the PUFA levels in their meat, milk, and eggs. The goal wasn't diversity, nutrient density, or soil health. It was maximum yield. And it worked. We built a food system optimized for cheap calories, processed food, livestock feed, and exports, not necessarily for optimal human health. Without these government subsidies, this mass production of corn and soy would not be possible.